Who is this bronze music man? And why is he here in Baltimore? These questions will be answered as we take a magical music tour of Baltimore. Baltimore may not be as well known in the music world as Nashville or New York, but that doesn't mean we don't have a rich musical heritage and a thriving music scene here. The signs of music activity are everywhere, if you know where to look, and they're not always as hidden as the identity and location of our bronze music man. There are many jazz legends who have hailed from Baltimore, including Billie Holiday, Chick Webb, Cab Calloway, and a famous composer of ragtime piano and popular song named Yubi Blake. Yubi was born in Baltimore in 1887. His most famous songs are The Charlestown Rag, heard here, and I'm Just Wild About Harry. Yubi wrote the musical Shuffle Along, one of the first Broadway musicals ever to be written and directed by African Americans. Today, the UB Blake Jazz Institute carries his name and has a mission to educate the youth and citizens of Baltimore in the history of jazz and African American music and dance. Located on Howard Street, the UB Blake Jazz Institute is a hub for creative music activity. And Baltimore continues to be the home for jazz greats, such as Ethel Ennis, whose career included singing with Benny Goodman and running a fabulous jazz club called Ethel's Place. It was located across the street from the Meyerhoff Symphony Hall. And speaking of the Meyerhoff, Baltimore has another great hall, the Lyric Opera House. And Baltimore has been the birthplace and or home for many classical musicians, such as Hilary Hahn, Philip Glass, and Leon Flesher, who teaches at the Peabody Conservatory of Music. The Peabody Conservatory, which is housed in a beautiful set of buildings on Mount Vernon Square, has a gorgeous cast iron framed atrium library. The Peabody was the school for pop musicians as well, including Michael Hedges, heard here. Michael, an innovative acoustic guitarist, was one of the first artists on the Wyndham Hill label. Tori Amos also studied at Peabody and is well known in the pop rock musical world. And in the world of pop and rock music, Baltimore has many legends, including the early doo-wop group the Orioles, who were famous before the baseball team. One of the Orioles hits was Crying in the Chapel. You saw me crying in the As pop music progressed into the 50s, Jerry Lieber from Baltimore formed the hit songwriting team Lieber and Stoller, who penned songs such as Hound Dog, Jailhouse Rock, Kansas City, Love Potion No. 9, On Broadway, and scores of other songs that have become pop music classics, recorded by many artists you might still recognize today. Other Baltimore music stars include Frank Zappa, soon to be immortalized here with a statue. Mama Cass from the Mamas and the Papas was born here. David Byrne from the Talking Heads. Tupac Shakur, who attended the Baltimore School for the Arts, and Drew Hill, featuring Cisco. They got their start singing at the Inner Harbor Fudge Factory and named their group after Drew Hill Park. And today's music scene continues to thrive with rock, rap, punk, house, and countless sub-genres of music. The Creative Alliance, housed in the old Patterson Theater, nurtures the music scene with concerts and workshops including the Baltimore Songwriters Association. Wherever you look around the city, you'll see people making music. And who is looking over this music scene? It's the Greek god of the muse, Orpheus. 
Orpheus stands on the grounds of Fort McHenry, where just offshore, Francis Scott Key penned the Star Spangled Banner. So the next time you get a chance, pay Orpheus a visit and follow the sound to music history and happenings in Baltimore. Thank you.